today I wanted to share with you a wonderful recipe that I have made quite a few times. It is a smoky pumpkin bisque. This is literally such an amazing fall and winter soup. It is a very flavorful, flavorful soup and it's just, it's so comforting. I, I absolutely adore this soup. You want to start by taking a stock pot and putting it on medium low heat and then you're going to add bacon. The recipe calls for four slices of bacon but I normally put six. You're going to want to cook the bacon until it's nice and crispy. You're going to be using the bacon to put as a topping on your soup. Once your bacon is nice and crispy you're going to want to take it out and put it on a plate with a paper towel so it kind of soaks up that extra grease. Next you'll be adding onions and garlic. The recipe calls for a half sweet onion diced. Now on hand I did not have sweet onions so I used the kind of onion that I had which was a yellow onion. I chopped it and then when I put it in the pan I actually added just a tad bit of sugar to kind of give it a little bit of a sweeter um, flavor. And garlic, you're going to want to add two garlic cloves. Along with that, you're going to be adding in seasonings, a fourth teaspoon of salt, a fourth teaspoon of black pepper, one eighth teaspoon grated nutmeg, one fourth teaspoon ground cumin, one fourth teaspoon brown sugar, and one half teaspoon smoked paprika. You're gonna to wanna to mix that all together and then reduce your heat to low and cook until the onions get a little bit of that translucent caramely kind of look. That'll take roughly eight to 10 minutes. Once that step is done, you're going to be adding in your pumpkin. One 15 ounce can of pumpkin puree, and then you're going to be adding in broth. It calls for three and a half cups of low sodium chicken or vegetable stock. Personally, I used chicken broth. Stir that in together, and then you're going to want to blend it. That will give you that nice, creamy bisque texture. There's a couple different ways that you can do this. If you have an immersion blender, this is where you're going to want to use that. For those of you like me who do not have an immersion blender, carefully take the contents of your stock pot and add it to a standing blender, just your regular old blender will do and then you're going to want to blend that all together. Once you've done that, add it back to your stock pot and put it back on your stove. Turn it up to medium heat and bring it to a simmer. Let it simmer for about 10 minutes. After 10 minutes you'll be putting heavy cream in it. It calls for one half cup. Stir it together and taste it and see if it needs any more seasoning. If it doesn't seem like it's flavorful enough for you, you can add just a little bit of any of the seasonings that you previously put in. Make it to your personal taste. Crumple up your bacon and you can add it as a topping. The recipe also has a part in it for a grilled cheese crouton. Now I've never made those. For this particular one, I made croutons from pumpernickel bread. I just chopped up pumpernickel bread placed it onto a baking sheet with cooking spray and popped it in the oven at 375 for about 10-15 minutes. Top your soup with both the croutons and the bacon and enjoy. If you make this recipe, please let me know down below. I absolutely adore this and I hope you will too. Thanks for watching.